नमस्ते एंड वेलकम दिस इज अरुण अपत की डॉक्टर ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन एंड अ योगा टीचर एंड अ कोच मेडिटेशन कोच आई एम हियर टू शेयर टुडे अ स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द सेकंड हार्ट इन द बॉडी सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू एक्सेस दिस मसल इज लाइक देयर आर सम पोजीशनिंग यू हैव टू होल्ड इट प्रॉपर्ली टू एक्सेस द सेकंड हार्ट इन द बॉडी we all know the first heart in the body which is located in the chest cavity on the left side of the body but here we are going to go on the muscle which is called it as a second heart in the body so let's practice on this watch the video until the end so that you can activate the the function the back flow of the blood the function of the heart um, in a specific way so that the back flow of the blood is moving properly uh, towards the heart okay so let's let's work on this muscle so for this what we need to do is basically um you are going to be uh parallel to the ground so you're almost like a cobra on the ground okay so what you can do here is uh, okay i'm going to keep my first you come into the cobra which is like lying down on your belly your forehead is on the ground your nose is on the ground and your toes are connected and your palms are next to each other in the next to the body next to the hip palm facing up okay so now what we are going to do here you bring your both palms below the shoulder okay and come into the up dog go into the down dog uh, sorry go into the child pose okay so this is just a beginning to warm up this position before we work on our legs so do two to three times this variation is lie down in the cobra come into the up dog go into the child pose from there you come into the cat and cow so cat and cow is like in the proper positioning for the cat and cow is you put your arms your wrist joint below the shoulder and your knee below the hip adjust your body your your vision is in in front of you on the mat okay now what you are going to do you bring your right leg straight so i'm going to move a little forward so that you can watch my leg movement here so what we are going to do you bring your right leg straight inhale here and when you exhale try to bring your heel close to the ground do not move the toes do not move the right toes okay now inhale come on the toes your toes are active inhale your body is parallel to the ground exhale do not move the toes bring try to bring the your heel with the exhale close to the ground heel close to the ground one more time inhale shift your weight on the hands parallel to the ground inhale now when you exhale bring your heel close to the ground you're not moving at all your toes here focus on the lower leg your heel is coming close to the ground it is coming close to the ground okay at the same time your left side of the body your left thigh and your left side organs in the lower abdominal area they are getting compressed at the same time your left hip is your tfl work your glute work is happening so focus and enjoy that breathing and breathe out when you are doing this movement it is called it as a upayogas or satal yoga now release so let's do on the other side so your left leg is straight now inhale bring your left leg straight you are coming on the toes your body is parallel to the ground now when you exhale bring your left heel close to the ground you're not moving the left toes your focus intention attention everything is on the lower leg bring your heel close to the ground inhale be parallel to the ground exhale bring it close to the ground your left heel is coming close to the ground focus on your lower leg inhale nicely shift your weight to the hand 
come forward parallel to the ground. When you are inhaling, you do all this. When you exhale, bring your heel, left heel close to the ground. Your hands are at the same place. Nothing is moving. Only the movement is happening that your heel is coming close to the ground. Enjoy that hold. The more you hold here, the more you are going to enjoy and access the muscle. That muscle is deeply rooted behind the bulky muscle, which is in your lower leg. That muscle is called as the gastrocnemius. So your second heart is below that muscle. Now release the pose. So this is the first variation. In the second variation, what you are going to do, again you are in the same posture. Now here we are going to walk our right feet over the left, okay? So the same thing, inhale, um, leg out, you are coming on the toes, hold your breath, enjoy the body alignment here. And when you exhale, walk your right feet over the left and bring your heel close to the ground, heel close to the ground. You're not moving the toes at all. Nothing is moving except the lower leg and your leg and your heel. Your region is over the right heel. Look at the right heel and try to bring the right heel close to the ground. Release it. Inhale, left leg coming straight. Inhale. Now, when you exhale, you are... In the inhale, the first thing, your heel is coming close to the ground, right? Sorry. In the second variation, what we are going to do, we are walking the left leg over the right, okay? So when you exhale, bring your left leg over the right and walk your heel close to the ground. Do not move your toes. Do not move your toes. Look over the right, uh, right shoulder and observe your left heel. Look over the right shoulder, observe the left heel. Watch it. Release it. One more time. Inhale. Right leg comes out. And when you exhale, bring your right leg over the left leg and watch over the left shoulder to connect with your right heel nice twist in the abdomen compression in the abdomen bring your heel close to the ground you're not moving the toes at all release it now left leg inhale bring your left leg out heel close to the ground and when you exhale, bring walk your right, left foot over the right and bring it close to the ground. Bring it, and your region is from the over uh, from the right shoulder. Your region is on the left heel. Enjoy that connection. That breath hold. You can enjoy four or five breaths here. You can increase the hold if you can. And release. Then once you are done this, you can try this five or seven times each side, each variation. So from here, you bring your both toes together. Okay? Both toes together. And you are going to sit nicely on the heels. And your forehead, your left palm is down, your right palm is over the left palm. Both palms are facing down. Your forehead is on the ground. And you are nicely connected with your heels. It's not like a lifted lower back. It is a connection between your heels and your glutes, gluteal muscles, butt muscles. There are three muscles in your glutes, in the hip area, in the butt area. That's called it as a gluteus maximus, which is the outside most 
visible part, gluteus medius, which is overlapped by the maximus, and the minimus, which is the inner, innermost one in the butt area. Now stay here and now five breaths in and out. Breathe in through your lower back and breathe out through the lower back. So inhale nicely. Feel the movement. Hold your breath. And exhale. You are exhaling through the belly. Inhale one more time. When you inhale, observe your lower back. Connect, visualize the lower back. Exhale after you hold. Practice these five to seven times or eleven times, depending upon how much time you have. This is very really good for your lower back pain, your menstrual cramps, your uh, your uh, pain in the abdomen, your colon, your sufferings in the digestion, bloating, indigestion. This is one of the good practice to often use for the digestive tract challenges, specifically the gut health. Now, from here, bring your arms out. And here what you do, you draw the circles with your forehead. Clockwise circles with your forehead. And then and clockwise with your forehead. And clockwise with your forehead. And then from here, like do like 10 to 15 times clockwise, 10 to 15 times anti-clockwise. And from here, slowly, one by one by one, vertebrae, you come up into the sitting posture. From here, I'm going to turn towards you. My knees are together, my toes are together, my heels are together, and I'm properly sitting on the heels. My ball and socket joint, the hip bone, that femur is coming, and that hip bone, there is a notch. So it's like this movement, ball and socket movement is going to happen here. So <clears throat> your, your connection of the heel is to that joint, which is a notch, a big notch, okay? Now from here, inhale, namaste on the top and exhale, namaste in the front. One more time, namaste on the top, inhale. And exhale. One last time, inhale, active fingers, wrap around the sun, open up. Exhale, namaste in the chest. Once you're done this, bring your both arms up. Make a nice fist here. Your, your thumb is at the pinky base, the pinky base. And make a nice fist. And now exhale forcefully. Inhale. And exhale. So inhale up, exhale forcefully. Inhale up, exhale forcefully. So you do this. Inhale. It's like squeezing. Your, your elbow is close to the body and you are bringing it forcefully. So your exhalation is pumping out. Okay. So this is a whole flow to go and work on your second heart in the body. So this is recorded for you, my dear friend, my dear client, uh, who is located in uh, Raleigh. So this is for you, darling. Thank you. Namaste. I hope you, you will practice this more before I see you next time for your session in the first week of the May. Namaste.